Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you, part two. This is the second haul that I had to record. Yes, I still have COVID. Here, Luna. And Luna's here visiting. Uh, Luna is my niece's dog and she spent the weekend with me. And she's waiting on her mama to come pick her up. Right, sweet girl? Yes. Go get your toy. Go get your bum. Okay, so this is part two. Um, yeah, so I got some fun stuff. Um, I, like before, in the description box below will be the link to all the items I picked up, as well as a discount code, and I will have the prices on the screen. Let's get into it. I picked up some clothes, and I am really... I, I'm really surprised and shocked at the quality, to be honest. Um, I ordered this two-piece set. It is a hoodie, and it is a loungewear outfit. Now, I made the mistake of thinking like I was ordering from Shein, and I upsized, and everything's a little too big for me. Most things are a little too big, which is fine. I mean, I'll still wear this, but I should have went with the size most of it was true to size. So you get, they have a different colors. These lounge pants, they are elastic waist. And then the matching two, you know, it's a two piece set with the hood. I like the sides here um, that they go higher. So it's a little more on trend with what's happening right now. Super soft and really good quality. I ordered a four extra large which was a 2022, and I think it's pretty true to size in that outfit. Um, another shirt that I ordered, again, I ordered the four extra large, and it's a little too big for me, but it's adorable, and I'm going to reorder it in my own size. Um, but this shirt has the little tie in the front. It's just a long sleeve, um, gray color, nice quality, uh, reasonably priced, yeah. No weird scents to them. And this one is so comfortable that I'm definitely reordering that as well. Um, I, I didn't order this one, but it was sent to me. This was a paid collaboration. I need to put that out there, but my reviews are my own. This, uh, one of the shirts I ordered was out of stock. So they sent me this one in a 4X as well. I'm keeping this one as a sleep shirt. It's a little big, but I think it'll be really fun to sleep in. I mean, the quality is there. Yeah, you can see through, but I feel like all of our white shirts we're seeing through these days. Um, so I'm definitely keeping this shirt as a sleep shirt. It'll be perfect for travel. Now, the one size shirt I ordered in a 4X, I think ran a little small, which, I mean, it happens in all clothing. It is adorable. It is a t-shirt. Let me button this up. So, the top at the neck area has some buttons. I just have it buttoned, but I don't think you really want to button it. But I wanted you to see it has a little fake pocket here. Uh, the rolled sleeves. I love this color. It's like a purple heather or a maroon heather. So the V kind of stays open. I love that detail. It's definitely long enough for me. This is also a 4XL, but it fits me more like an 1820. So just so you're aware of sizing, obviously at any store you purchase from that could that could happen, but the quality is great, and I will definitely be ordering more. This shirt I love, and it's gonna be so fun for summertime. And I'm keeping that for me and wearing it as well. Okay, I ordered this bag. It's a crossbody. I'm loving this trend. If you're my age, you remember these from old camera. They were camera straps at the time. Um, and then it came, you know, it's a nice little, it's not real leather. It doesn't even pretend to be real leather, but it is really adorable. And it's just like a boho side bag. The inside is like a satiny material in a gray herringbone. Um, it has a nice zip on it. And it's not overly heavy, which I like. I mean, I'm thinking this would be almost ideal for travel because it gives you the feel that it's something more than it is. It's very lightweight, but it does have the zipper to protect any of your items, and it has a sturdy strap 
here. So I like that, but I love that it also folds down flat for storage. And also I'm thinking it would be a great crossbody bag if you were taking any trips coming up. And I liked it. Again, no weird scent. Um, yeah, it's a little flat, but I think once you put things in it, it would be totally fine. And I'm planning on using it this summer. I'm also stuffy. Let's have some coffee. Mm. Um, there was a couple other things while we're talking about fashion. So I ordered some shoes as well. And I got these little slide-ons. And I ordered a size 9. And they are a little big on me. Again, su super surprised. I will wear these a little big. That doesn't bother me because they're a slide-in. Um, really comfy. Now, I will tell you they're very lightweight. I don't know the longevity. But for the price, if I get a few wears out of these. I'm not mad about it. And they come in all different colors. But I'm obsessed with this green. And I really wanted to have a pair to wear in the springtime with a pair of jeans. And like a lightweight shirt or sweater or something. I think these are adorable. Now they say there it's a 41. And that's a European sizing. I went with the US size 9. Um, not overly... Like, this is pretty thin material. Again, I don't know how many wears I'll get out of them. But for the price, they are super, super cute and comfortable. Um, the one thing that bothered me a little bit, and I probably will, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but there's some elastic so the tongue comes back. That rubbed on my foot a little bit, just wearing them around the house. I don't know once I break them in how that will feel. Let me grab this other bag. Because I got a second pair of shoes as well. Now, I ordered these also in a size 9. They say a size 40. These fit almost like a size 10. Um, they definitely are way too big for me. Um, which is unusual because typically when I've ordered overseas, I find the sizing to run a little small. But that is not the case. So, if you have a wider foot or wear a size... Um, nine and a half or a ten. I would definitely say order the nine. It is a cute shoe. It's so lightweight. It's got a very. It's all elasticated. So, um, and it has a nice wide toe box and breathe this mesh. And I just think these are adorable. Again, just to wear around as like a nice loungy shoe. I'm passing these on to somebody who wears a size ten because they're just too big for me but great price and you don't have to untie them. I mean, they come with elastics and you can, but quite frankly, I just slip my foot into them and they're great. So I grabbed those. And I think that is it for clothing. It is it for clothing. Okay, so let's get into some other things. I ordered a set of curlers and I'm excited to try these. So these are the curly curlers. And I already put this together. It comes in two pieces. But what you do is you feed this hook through the curler like that. You grab a section of hair and you pull it back through. And it spirals up and you let your hair dry. And this is mesh. So it'll dry in here. And then when your hair is dry, you pull it out. And you should have a nice big bouncy curl. So I grabbed a set of those because I just think that is freaking fun. And you get all different sets. I would say for a normal thickness of hair, you probably would want to order two sets. And if you have pretty straight hair or wavy hair with a lot of body, these are going to be super fun. And you get all these four different sizes. I tried one out. I didn't let my, I didn't do it when my hair was dry. But you get a large, like an extra large, a large... And then these two, green and pink, are like a medium and a small. But I think that they are going to be fun to just play with. And if you have any little, or if you would like to get some curl in your hair, these would be really fun to mess around with. And also, they sell these, which are wave curl. You definitely, definitely would need more than one set of these. I mean, I would say if you have long hair, you might need two to three sets. 
two to three sets of this one, of the Wave Curl. Um, I've seen these, you know, on social media and all of that. And they're the same concept as the curly ones. Um, and I'm just hoping that the, I'm going to, these are for Sarah because I don't have this long of hair and the little curly ones I hope will tame my curls, but you do the same thing. You just feed it through and then you let your hair dry. And then when it's dry, you pull it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm congested. And this also comes with the same hook that you feed your hair in. How fun is that? And such a reasonable price. I mean, that's the thing for me. It's fun and it's reasonable. Um, I picked up some little bitty stuff here. I grabbed this headband because, you know, my hair. This is for me. Um, my hair is getting longer. And some days I just want it out of my face. And I liked the hook to it. If I put it in, it has to stay, right? I mean, it really holds my hair well. Um, eh, no, I think this is more of a child size or I just have a big head. It doesn't go behind my ear. It kind of stops here. So maybe, maybe it's not ideal for an adult head or if you have a smaller head. It's reasonably priced, but I don't feel like well, I guess it just doesn't quite go down long enough for me. It just goes a little bit behind my ear. But it's very quality because those teeth grab your hair and do a good job. So I grabbed those. Um, I picked up... Oh, huh? uh, uh, I love push pins, guys. Let's see if I can get this open. Uh, if I can't, I'll just show you. So these are push pins and this is a sloth doing yoga. It's a lapel pin. What I do with these is I take my Dremel and I grind the back off and I put a magnet and I use them for stitch minders. And this will be for Halloween and it's my black cat and he's reading a, a spell book. And these were so inexpensive. I'm like, oh, I have to have them. And I need them for my stitching. If you don't, you know, they do have the back. And they have the um, the rubber back on them. So I think they'll do a good job of staying on your clothing if you choose to use them. They have a great selection of, um, you know, like the enameled pins. I ordered <coughs> a set of rings. You get like a dozen, I think. All random sizes and styles. Um, the one thing I don't care for is a lot of them are the squeeze-on ones, but they're just decorative. I mean, they're definitely not for... What was that? My watch wants me to stand up. They're not, you know, something you're going to wear any precious metal for the price. But they're actually solid and they're decent quality. And I thought they would be fun to wear just as like, you know, costume jewelry. You toss a, a ring on when you go out and call it a day. So I love that. Um, I got two packages of these. Let's open one. And I can't remember. If, I think it was a two pack that I ordered. Actually, let's open them both. Because I want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. It must have been a two pack. Um, but they're hair clips, you know, so I can put them in my hair or wear them across the top. They are metal which I like. I just ripped out some of my hair. And I liked the neutral colors of them, but they are a metal clip and they're very strong, which is great. On the inside, they even have a little bit of a teeth to it, like a little grabby on the inside. And they're coated with like a, I don't know if it's rubberized or some type of paint that feels like it's their rubber, but it's metal. And you get... Well, I guess they are the same, except for this middle one is more pink on this set. So for the price, I got six hair clips, which for me, that's great when I'm doing my hair. But also, like, if I want it out of my face, I know, sorry about the headband. I could just pull up my hair and throw a clip in and call it a day. So I like these. I'll probably share a pack with Sarah. 
and keep a pack for me because I don't need six of them. Uh, okay, oh, in the kitchen. I got this brush wand cleaner and you charge it. It's rechargeable, right? So it comes with the USB and it comes with some cleaning tips like a sponge top, but it also comes with the bristle to like clean your shower and your sink out. Oh, I'm excited. And I'm assuming you'll get a little more power when I charge it up. And then this just pops off. And I put this one on if I'm doing more of a sponge. How fun is that? I just think this is fantastic. And I do have a tile shower. And I also have a shower that has the, what's it called? It's not tile, but it's that plasticky material that stains super easy. And I'm hoping with a little bleach cleaner in this, I'll be able to get the discoloration off. And you do get the USB. There's some directions. And then there's another, oh, a buffer. So if you're doing like maybe washing your car or something, it comes with a buffer brush. And I'm not sure what this, oh, this might be to hang it up somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has a mount, right? And you can mount it to your wall. And then when you want to go, you just grab it and go. How fun is that? I can't wait to use it. And I'll let you know how it works out. I've been holding on to it, but I'm definitely going to take that into the shower. Okay. Oh, and another thing I picked up, household related, is, and I cannot wait. I'm super excited about this. I need to get out to the plant store. Now, these are, I thought they would be like ceramic, but they're, they're plastic, which actually is not terrible because it's going to hold plants. And terracotta, as much as I love it, tends to absorb the water and dehydrate them faster. But look at her. I am going to put the most fabulous plant in here. And there is a drainage hole at the bottom. And I am obsessed, guys. They had a bunch of different ones. But can you imagine, like... Um, a mother-in-law's nest, I think it's called, up here. Girl, what are you doing? She is taking the bit cat bed. Something spiky up top or, because I want to see her face. Or maybe even like um, a Christmas cactus or something of that nature. And I love the size. It's perfect. And it is plastic. The dog is carrying around the cat bed. The whale cat bed. There are no cats in the cat bed. They wouldn't dare go in there while Luna's here. For the kitchen, I grabbed this. I haven't used it yet, but it's a vacuum sealer. I forgot to order bags for it, so I can't try it just yet, but I do need to order some bags because I want to try it. So let's take it out of its packaging. and see how it goes. Oh, I can try it. It comes with some bags and a, a charger and directions. And it looks like, okay, so it locks into place with these side clips, right? But you close it, open it up, you plug it in. Uh, it looks like you... Oh, these are your power buttons over here. Okay, power and seal buttons over here. So you put it in somehow. Oh, you take that out. Okay, so you put it in between so the opening of the, mount, of the bag is here and this must be where it sucks the air out. So you leave your opening over here, you shut it. I'm not sure if you lock it or not. And then you hit the vacuum seal to seal it. And then you long press. Or you vacuum, you hit the vacuum button to suck out all the air. And then you hit that to and you hold it to seal it. 
we'll try it. What the heck, you know? Um, I don't quite know what that thing is. I'll have to do some direction reading, but it does come with some bags to try it out, which is fantastic. And it comes with directions and it's power source. So we'll see how that works, right? All right, what's in here? Ooh, I'm ex those are the rings. I'm excited for these. I don't know if I showed you these. I don't feel like I did. I might have, but I don't think so. These are travel bags. And you put your liquids in them. So like this size here, I'm going to use for shampoo, conditioner. If I don't get the shampoo bar. But you open it up. I have a funnel. Fill it up with however much you want. I don't know that this would hold more than three ounces. Hopefully it does not. And then you put the lid on it. And when you want to use it, your lid pops open, which has a very good seal. And then you just squeeze out your shampoo and conditioner. And then you have this size and then a larger size. I don't know that I could travel with the larger size, but I definitely think I could travel with these two. Also, it comes with some really cute stickers and you get a fair amount in here. So even if I just... Um, I'm not sure. I think there's three of each size. So conditioner, shampoo, and maybe moisturizer. And then throw these in my travel container, in my travel bag when I'm flying. And yeah, and then honestly, they're so reasonably priced that if I choose not to bring them home, I don't have to. And the bottom opens up. Like it's a flat bottom, so it will hold a decent amount. Probably more than I would need for a week to 10 days. But I thought these are great. I do have a trip coming up next year. And I started collecting some, some travel things for packing. And I have a luggage haul coming up. Or a luggage review coming up. And I will show you how these will fit in that. So I'm going to put that over there. Because that's where my suitcase is that I have to review. Also for travel, I picked up these. Now they are, and I don't have any water with me to do it, but what they are, hi Luna, individual, they're individual little towels, right? So nothing on it, I don't think. I <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Okay, I'm back while Luna was off. Luna, it's okay. While she was off barking at the neighbor's dog, I went and took care of, opened up one of these for us. Okay, so they're tiny little, like, the, sweetheart, it's okay. The size of like a mint, right? Nothing. There's no moisturizer on here. There's no scent. There's no alcohol. There's nothing. They're just a compressed hand towel, wash towel, face wash, face cloth, body wiper, perfect for travel. Um, especially like someone like me, I have very sensitive skin. I don't like to bring the face wipes that you would get um, that are pre-moistened. So this is just a little puck of fabric. And I feel like I could use it a couple times. It's pretty sturdy. But I can use it to wash my face, wash my hands while I'm traveling on those long haul flights, anything like that. And you get, for the price, I mean, you get a lot of these. I mean, I would say I would throw a handful in my bag for a week trip. But mostly I would use them on the airplane to freshen up or, you know, sometimes you're out and about and there's no toilet paper or... You need to wash your hands, wash your face, whatever. I mean, just put a couple of these in a bag and you're, you've are you got a whole, whole hand towel to do your business and whatever. Hi. Hi. Whatever business, you know, that is. Cleaning up. It's, you know, you don't know. It depends on where you're traveling, what they're going to have available in public bathrooms and stuff. And I always like to just, for me, I just like to be cognizant of that. And know what I what I have. Oh, I need to put that away. What I have and what I don't have in my bag. So that and some hand sanitizer and a little maybe a little soap, and I'm good. 
Um, speaking of travel, they have these little tiny bags, which is interesting. It has an elastic on the back. You can like wear it as a wristlet, but it also comes with a strap that makes it perfectly cross body for me. Um, I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max and it fits in its case in this back zipper. Like it just fits in here. In the front, I plan on putting some money, some credit cards, whatever, in this little front compartment, easy access to my monies. And then um, this middle one also will hold a decent amount of something. You know, it's padded, which is nice. So if you put a camera or something in here, but a snack, a mint, a couple of those wipes, a hand sanitizer. If you're out on tours or you're walking is a big thing. If I'm out like walking the trails, I can just put this on and um, have my phone handy with whatever I need. Like when I do walks, if I do trail walks and stuff, I need tissues because my nose always starts running when I'm out exercising. Plenty of room in here for that. And I like it. They had lots of colors of this. And I feel like it's washable. It's um, like a nylon material. And I like that the strap is pretty thin. And it expands and, you know, gets bigger or longer. I like mine as long as possible. I like them down by my hip. So I love that. I may cut this off just because I think I'm not going to ever hook it onto my wrist. But if you're running, if you're a runner, you could definitely hold that on to you, I would say. But again, can you tell my mind is on travel, guys? So I picked up that. Um, for the kitchen, I grabbed this chopper. So you put your little whatever, like garlic, and then your blades come down out of here. And you can chop like small things, garlic, little onion, Things of that nature. I think this was like $8. So that was fun. Find. I just have a couple more items here, guys. So let's pull everything up and out. Oh, I grabbed these for Sarah. She, um, she likes to do her fingernails. And these are little, um, pointed they have balls on the tip so if you want to do polka dots or any kind of nail design nail art and you get five of them in here so I grab that and they're metal and they're double ended and so each end has two different sizes so this is really 10 different size tools she can use when she's doing her nails and I thought she would enjoy that um I grabbed this came in a two pack so it's purple and watermelon and it's just hair headbands. You put them on your hair and you hold your hair back while you're washing your face or whatever. And these come in very handy when you have longer hair. And it's so soft. And I have some cat ear ones, but I need these too. So I grab the second one and they're machine washable. I throw them in the wash. So I'll share these, uh, one with Sarah probably and one for me. And then you have your little bow because it's adorable. Um, on the other side of beauty, I grabbed a pack of Q-tips. I mean, not Q-tips, tweezers. And you get four different tweezers in here. So I grabbed some of these. I was running low. Not low, but like, I, le I like to have tweezers everywhere, to be honest. And I also like them for crafting. But I'm going to tell you, these are some sharp and nice quality tweezers. Like, they are have a good grip and a weight to them. These I definitely use for crafting. The pointy tip ones, I use them like to place stickers and stuff. But I buy them for my face and I end up using them in crafting. Like this one here, I may use in my cross stitch kit. But you get four and they're great quality. I like a set in my car too. I'm not going to lie for my chin hairs. I know. All right, the last thing I got was a pack of, these are um, makeup puffs. And if you are my age, again, I love how everything from my generation is coming back, but you remember these coming in your powdered makeup. And that's exactly what they're for, to, to 
put your makeup on. They come in different sizes. So you can go up under your eye and around and you can touch up your face and you can blend your makeup with them and you get all different shapes of these. So you get the triangle, some rounds, some ovals with the point more and then more round. So I grabbed a set of these. They're also washable and they come in their own little their own little container, which I think is fantastic. All right, guys, so that is everything I got from this Timu haul. I hope you enjoy, and um, definitely subscribe, like, come over to our YouTube Facebook group. We have a lot of fun over there sharing memes and talking, and I do some updating over there, and I will talk with you later.